unfortunate incident at the Sioux Alaba area of Lagos as an unidentified soldier violently abuses a young Lagosian, Omotola Omolola, on the roadside. Plus, TV Africa was able to get a snapshot of the soldier who had threatened to shoot any person that intervened on the matter as he threw young Omotola on the floor following a dispute he had with the driver of a bus. All efforts to reach the Nigerian Army's civil military decks was not successful as the number available did not go through. Joining me in the studio is a victim of this incident, Omotola Omolola. How are you doing, Omotola? Good afternoon. And thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, too. So let's, let's hear from you. Give us your side of the story. What exactly happened? Um, the whole thing just happened all of a sudden. I took a bus from Alakija, and then when we got to Mautu, I think the army wanted to board the bus, but the driver and conductor were like, they just started business, and they wouldn't be taking people for free and all. So before we knew it, it just started chasing them. The army guy took a bike and started chasing them. Like, why won't you Where was me? the army guy? Was he part of the passengers in the bus? No, he wasn't. Okay. He wanted to board the bus. He wanted to board the bus? Yeah, but okay. they said they were not ready to take free, free passengers. passengers. So he followed us to um, Suralaba. That was where he stopped us. And then he started beating the conductor and the driver. Okay. Then he commanded us that we should all get down from the bus, that we won't follow that bus. Then everyone started making videos that said, what did they do? You can't just stop people like that and tell yeah. us to drop from the bus for no reason yes. or because they refused to pick you up. Then he called me making a video and before I knew it, he just gave me a slap. You're making a video of me. How oh dare you? Do you know who I am? And then he started struggling to get my phone from me. I was like, this is my right. Why would you beat me up? Why would you slap me because I was making a video of you torturing and harassing people? And then I dipped my phone in my trouser. He was ready to put his hand into my trouser to drag out my phone from me. I feel really humiliated. Even right now, I can't even hear anything from the slap he gave me. Like, so, my at the, so at this point where, where he slapped you, I mean, what were people around him, what were their people reactions? People around, they were like, they came and came to my aid and were like, what did she do? But because there's an army now, yes. like most of the towns, they're they scared that it would bring his other people and then they would start beating them up. So they had to like start begging him to release my phone from me and or he was like, do I know who he is? He will kill anybody that interferes in this matter. He had fought in Kubuko Haram, he had done this and that. Was it with a rifle? He was not. With a rifle, okay. He was not. So let me ask you, after, after the incident happened, everybody went their ways. Uh, have you been contacted by anybody so far? No, about no. About inc this incident that happened? Nobody has contacted me. Nobody. Because my phone has been damaged, everything. My, I can't even hear. My ears still echo. Like, I could still feel the echo from my ears and everything. Can, no. you, can you identify this said military man? I mean, name, number on his, on his uniform? I don't, I don't know him from anywhere. I can't. But when I see him, I can identify him. Oh. Sorry about the unfortunate incident that happened to you, Molola. Thank and you thank very you for joining much. us on Plus TV Africa News Thank on the you Hour. Very much.